Most of the Android games these days are synced with the server in real time and therefore require you to be connected to the internet almost all the time. While you are on Wi-Fi, you have nothing to worry about. However, if by any chance you shift from the Wi-Fi to cellular data, which is limited to just a few MBs or a GB, things get a lot different. These games consume a lot of considerable amount of bandwidth which eats up data quickly and later costs money on prolonged use. So today I'm going to talk about a simple Android firewall app using which you can restrict the games on your Android to just the Wi-Fi data and disable the cellular data once and on all for them. Let's have a look. We will be using a firewall app as I mentioned earlier for the task but nothing too fancy as we just need to block games, accessing the cellular network and nothing more than that. So to keep things simple, you must install the no root data firewall from play store on your Android device. Now the app works on all the devices running on Android 4.0 or higher and as the name suggests, root access is not mandatory. After the app initializes, you will be asked to grant permission to create a VPN connection. Don't worry, it will be just a mock connection and this will be used by the app to monitor the internet access on your device. Having done that, you'll see a list of all the apps installed on your Android and you'll see two icons that is the cellular and Wi-Fi. You must tap on both the icons and select allow all connection or later on you'll be asked confirmation whenever an app is trying to connect to the internet. Now to block the game's access on the cellular data, look for them in the list and tap on the cellular icon next to them. You'll get a few options there. Make sure that you select the restrict data and not the restrict background data. Well, that is all. From now on, all the games configured in the firewall settings will be blocked in the cellular data and will only work on Wi-Fi. You can minimize the app and it will work in the background, but just in case you reboot your phone and you don't see the VP icon on the status bar, just fire up the app manually. Apart from that, there are a lot of additional features in the no root firewall which makes it a perfect standalone firewall app as well and some of these features are that you can block the background data for an app when it's connected to wi-fi or 3d data and this minimize the overall data usage on the device if you have not granted internet access to apps by default you will get a notification whenever any app is trying to connect to the internet and then you can allow or restrict the data over there there are various profiles that you can create like different profiles for roaming, gaming and much more which will help you to quickly change the rules by a single tap. So friends, those were some of the interesting features of the no root firewall and how you can use it to restrict the cellular data of the game and only work on Wi-Fi. Well, if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and until next time, take care and have a wonderful day.